Hello YouTube, this is Chris again, Beggar's Paranormal Service. Did I just scare you? I did that on purpose. Um, anyway, so today's video, um, well first, by the grace of God, my internet's still on. I have nowhere near the amount that I need to pay my bill, but it's still on. It should have been off on the 8th. Um, it's already the 10th, so two days, and you know as well as I do, when somebody says your stuff's going to be off, they don't play around, especially Bright House. So, I'm going to say by the grace of God. Anyway. So today's video is going to be on how adults act, should act. Um, as you've seen in my, my two of my videos, disrespecting, uh, disrespectful, no annoying neighbors. Um, I have some uh, uh, Spanish, Mexican, I don't know how you want me to call them, uh, neighbors that just moved in next door. And um, we had had a, uh, like I said in those videos, they just non-stop playing the music all day all night as loud as they can play it having a good time and and I got nothing wrong with having a good time but be respectful and uh, here in Bakersfield uh, noise ordinance laws 10 o'clock the the, um, the your noise has to be down uh, one second past 10 o'clock and it's you're breaking the law and I'm not really a big law caller unless you have absolutely have to uh, I feel most people if they if they just suck up their pride can um, handle a situation um, without without physical contact or without um, without it having to call the cops. But in this particular instance, I had asked them to keep their music down. Um, it got it got to the point where it was just out of control, and I had asked them to turn the music down uh, one night, uh, I think last month, and uh, they turned it down that night. Well, it continued to go 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 after that. Uh, the, you know, the next day, next day, next day. So. I went to him and I talked to him. I said, "Hey, you know, or I didn't go. I didn't go talk to him. That's that's. I'm sorry. I, I that night that I made the video, I was pacing back and forth, back and forth, because I I was getting really, really aggravated. It was I think midnight, or just after midnight, if I remember right. And it was out of control. And so I had called the police department just to make a report. I didn't want him out. I told him I didn't want him out. Um, I just wanted a report just in case stuff escalated, to show that I had made a report." Um, and that what was going on and the, the, the police officer, you know, the, the lady, the, the dispatcher could hear the music in the background and stuff and everything. So anyway, long story short, they came out um, that night, told them to turn it down. A um, couple of days that went by, uh, I want to say about a week had went by and uh, I went over to talk to the guy and I went over, it was during the day and I went over and I was talking to him. We had a good little conversation, about an hour or so conversation and um I told him that I was the one that called the police department on him, and I told him why. And um, we, we had a good little conversation, and um, he told me there was going to be a birthday party um, that uh, Saturday, that next follow, you know, that coming up Saturday, it was Friday night, when I went over and talked to him, or Friday when I went and talked to him. And we went over, um, and, and I said that was okay, and uh, he said by 10, 11 o'clock, I'll have it down. And uh, I think it was like 10, 30, something like that, they finally turned it down, and it was quiet the rest of the night. Um, so today I decided I wanted to go out and do my yards. Uh, well, not my yards. I don't have gas in my lawnmower, but I wanted to be able to weed eat. My weed eater's broken, um, and my weeds have been getting kind of out of control. And so I went ne I went next door, and uh, well, I tried a few other people um, that live in my neighborhood that I kind of know, and either they're n they didn't answer the door, they weren't home, or they didn't have a weed eater, or their husband take it, took it for work. Um, and so I went next door, and I asked him if I can borrow his weed eater, and he let me use it. And uh, we, we talked for a few minutes. I went and did as much as I could with a little bit of gas that was in it. And I gave him a little bit of weed eater string that I had because he didn't have any string. And uh, he told me, he goes, hey, anytime you need to use it, just let me know and uh, I'll let you use it. And I said, well, I don't have any. If I had any money, I'd give you money for gas. I said, but because it was a little bit in there. I said, but I don't. So I'm going to give you this you know, weed eater string that I have um, for payment for the gas. And he goes, oh, don't worry about it. I'll get some more gas. And he goes, uh, if you need to use it at any time, let me know. That's how adults should act. We had a problem. We reconciled it. We let it go. We moved on. And uh, he helped me, and I helped him. He didn't have any string, and he let me use his weed eater. And I took care of what I needed, you know, as much as I could get taken care of. And I gave him some string. So now he's got some string. So now he doesn't have to really buy any for a little bit. And if you buy some gas, and then I can go over and I can use the weed eater. He can use the weed eater at his house. And it's all good. We squashed the problem without physically getting in contact with each other. And I just wish more people would be able to do this 
Now, there's going to be times where physical violence isn't going to be a you're going to be able, not going to be able to avoid it. That's just a, a fortunately the way it is. And and sometimes we have to call the cops. That's what they're there for. That's their job. Um, back when I was younger, it was called snitches get you stitches. But you know what? I don't live like that anymore. Sometimes we have to get um, a third party involved, um, like I did, and that kept a bigger problem from happening. Had I had went over there and, and yelled and screamed and cussed and fit throat that night, um, I probably would have gotten into a fight that night with the, all the friends and family um, because they were all drinking and you know how it is when you get drunk and then you got the outside guy. And I really didn't know how they were. I didn't know how they were on white people. Um, and I wasn't trying to, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, label. That's not what I'm trying to do. But I know how people are, some people. And so I didn't know if that's how they were. And then I've got a shaved head on top of that. So, you know, it could have been very, very sticky and very, very messy. So I called the cops. They did their job. And then the next uh, next few days when everybody, you know, the whole situation had cooled down, everybody was sober, um, I went over and I spoke to the guy. And we were able to reconcile the problem. And now I've, you know, I've, I've got a neighbor that um, he can deal with me. I can deal with him. Um, I'll, I'll help him if he needs help. He'll help me if I need help, uh, f apparently, from today, from what just happened with the weed eater. So um, I hope this helps you guys out there if you guys are going through similar situations. And I'm not saying every situation can be dealt with like that and come out like mine did. Um, but it's, it's worth a shot. It's worth a, a shot to be able to um, try to uh, save a situation without physical violence. And without having to get into an altercation. Now, he's not scared of me and I'm not scared of him. That's not why today happened the way it did. It happened the way it did because of how the situation was handled. Um, and then the next day, we sit, you know, next few days after that, we sit down and we talked about it. Well, we stood in his front yard, but we stood there and talked about it. And it's kind of funny how it worked out. His dog kept coming to my yard. The same dog that they've had, a little white dog. And it's never been in my yard, ever. Never came in my yard. Right uh, shortly after I called the cops, this dog starts coming in my yard. And I didn't know who it belonged to. Then all of a sudden, I post a picture of it on Facebook, and I go try to catch it. So it doesn't get taken away or get hurt or whatever. And it runs away and runs into his yard, the owner's yard, my next-door neighbor's. And so I knocked on the door and asked him, hey, is this your dog? And I want to see it get hurt or lost or, stole, you know, or, or, or stolen or whatever. And he said yes, and then we had the conversation that we had that day for about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, you don't have to believe in God. I believe in God. I believe in his son, Jesus Christ. And to me, that was God saying, okay, this situation has been handled. Now I'm going to bring you two together so that you guys can take care of this because this needs to be done. This needs to be squashed, needs to be done with, and get rid of the bad blood. And that's my honest opinion because this dog had never been in my yard ever. And, I, and they've had it there, and they've had it in the front yard. Um, and it never has came in my yard until after that, after I had called the cops, after that little sticky situation, and it went down. So in my heart, in my opinion, that was God bringing us together, saying, okay, squash this. You guys don't have to live like this. You guys are our are, are family in my eyes. You know, squash this. You know, I'm going to give you the opportunity to squash this. What are you going to do with it? And I took, we took the opportunity to squash it, act like full-grown adults, and, you know, move on. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off. I've rambled on long enough. Hopefully you enjoy it. And uh, rate, comment, subscribe. And hopefully my internet stays on long enough for me to get it paid. Um, but like I said, it was already should have been off, uh, you know, on the 8th. And it's already the 10th, so two days passed when it was supposed to be off. Again, I think that was because of the grace of God. You don't have to believe in God. You don't have to believe what I believe and think what I think or feel what I feel even for that matter. But I just wanted to get this stuff out there. So anyway, hopefully I can get to doing some more paranormal videos, ghost hunting, uh, UFO hunting. Hopefully I can do some Bigfoot hunting too. That'd be awesome. And different things like that. And hopefully one day I'll have my own TV show. Let me know in the comment section below here if you think I should have my own TV show. Um, if you would watch it. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. And I will see you on the next video, YouTube.